Hey, welcome back to Whitetail Garage. This weekend, we're at the ranch, and I've got I've got some work to do. I haven't uh, seen this old girl in a while, and she's pretty filthy. <laughs> So I was just looking, the uh, brake pedal looks like the maybe the brake fluid is leaking onto it because I see the paint kind of eating off of it. And it's all wet right there, so we'll have to check that out. I'm going to have to look closely to make sure there's no snakes or anything. And I have no idea if it'll start, so we'll see. Just Why break is that the hose. So dry Still nothing here. All right, so I got the whole front end off. The hood, and even the hood uh, laying over there. The, even the hood hinge was, uh, side of it was dry rotted and busted off. But right down there is where it's leaking out of the snout of the master cylinder. Um, so I need to basically rebuild the master cylinder or replace it. And being that we're in the middle of nowhere, I'm going to have to just get some, see if I can get some brake fluid and make it work, limp along for the weekend and then order that part. But I'm going to do some research tonight, uh, do a parts run because I want to get some more fuel line. The uh, fuel line was cracked right by the fuel pump and so it was just sucking in air. That's why I wasn't getting fuel. So, new fuel line there, I should be good to go. Uh, and it did fire up and run, just needs fuel. So, yeah, we had a little mouse, mouse house in here. You can see where the brake fluid was leaking all down the, the pedal there and, and soaking all this up. So it's gonna be eating up all that paint. And I'll probably have to repaint it eventually. But we got the battery charging. It shows charged. <clears throat> Let's just see how charged. So uh, maybe need a battery too. All right, I went and got brake fluid. I haven't started messing with the mule again. Because uh, I wanted to get the feeder pins we needed. I got my brother back there helping me because I can't really do it very well. Uh, anyway, so we got a little cleanup to do with the blind. The other feeder's are already set. This one is giving me grief, though. This uh, controller's not coming on, so I don't know if this battery's dead or the controller is bad. So we're gonna test that, test that at uh, the other, one of the other feeders and see. All the weed eating's done. We are headed to another feeder to test this controller and my battery to see if, uh, see if it's the battery or the controller. 
and then figure out how to fix it from there. Then I gotta go work on the mule. All right, well, that was a bit of a fiasco. A couple of those uh, windows had just gotten so old that the wood had let go and the glass had slid down. So a bunch of uh, yellow jackets or hornets or whatever got all inside the house and it made a big nest in there, or actually just several small ones, but uh, combined was a pretty decent amount of bugs. Anyways, we got that squared away, and now it is back to the mule. So, I didn't, the issues that I found so far, the master cylinder's leaking. I bought some brake fluid, got that squared away, and look at that. These things are just everywhere out here. Anyways, um... Bought the, uh, let's get rid of this guy. Oh, he's toast. I bought some brake fluid, and I'm going to fill it back up and see see how quickly it runs out of brake fluid. I mean, I, I don't have the tools to bleed the brakes, get the air out, none of that, but the master cylinder is bone dry. I'm just going to see how bad the leak is, and maybe I can use it this weekend and then get the parts I need. Um, but first, got to see if I can get it running. Couldn't find fuel line at the place I stopped, but it was just a truck stop I went to, so that was kind of expected, but I needed fuel. Uh, so I'm going to try and see if I can get it to go with just the changes that I've made. But what happened was right at the fuel pump, which you can't really see, but you know, right at the fuel pump right there, uh, the bottom of the line had uh, split. And so that was causing an air leak. So it went sucking in fuel there. And then the brake master cylinder uh was leaking and then the uh, battery was dead i charged the battery overnight it seems to be like healthy right now so we'll see i, I may end up messing it up just trying to get it to start again um but let's jump in and see what we can figure out That's the sign I wanted to see was fuel coming out of that guy. So now I just need to get it to go in the right spot. All right, stole this fuel line off of a, the lawnmower. I got it going. So put some brake fluid in it. It hasn't started leaking yet. So uh, I think we'll go for a test drive see if it has any brakes and get it washed off. Sunset, which is about 20 minutes from now. It's got the entire family in the blind with us. All playing video games. A movie and video games. Oh, here comes the rain. There's a little bit of rain coming in. I don't know if you can see it out there.
So it's the next morning. Yesterday, we got rained out late. Had to wait out the rain. But this morning, it's just me and my son. We've seen quite a bit of action on one feeder. The other feeder's just had a little forky on it. It's about eight o'clock. Probably be out here about another hour. And now we got one doe and a fawn on one feeder. All the other bucks fled. We did have a spike. A pretty good mature eight point. Just wasn't sure if he was outside the ewes. In Texas we have the 13 inch rule. So I have to be outside the ears. His body looked right, but his rack was like right at or just outside the ears. I don't like to gamble on that. And then the doe has a fawn with her. And there's a spike and a forky. We'll wait and see what else comes out. It doesn't look like we're going to get anything this morning. Going to head back to base camp and install that, uh, I think it's great day power loader. Uh, so that way I can pick up animals with the front of the mule. So we'll show you all that install. All right, so I got the power loader model PL250 and the you need this bracket kit to go on the UTV. Uh, again, made by Great Day. Gonna bolt it to the front of the mule, but I've gotta get this thing moved. It's gonna have to hang off the tailgate or the side or something moving forward, because I don't know that I'll have it hang off of the front of that power loader. But we'll see. Right now, this thing's acting up anyway, so I gotta work on it. See if I can get it going right again. First, let's get the uh, power loader on. All right, so got the uh, lift installed and uh, tested it out. Seems to work pretty well. So, yeah, I guess I'll get her down there. Got the whole thing installed. Um, I mean, you can see I demonstrated on my son and my wife's weight and, uh, you know, does just fine without amount of weight, obviously. Um, so we should be good with uh, deer weight. So, um, one of the things that I did have to do differently, let me spin you around and show you how I installed it. Again, this is a 2007 Kawasaki Mule, so it's that style headlight. Kawasaki Mule Trans 4x4. And the brackets I put on the outside of this. And right, I think they may have been designed to go the other way. But the issue was I wouldn't be able to get that uh, clamp around that pipe because it'd be inside the winch uh, space there. So I went to the outside. Then down here, just a standard U-bolt. 
and then up here there's only one hole drilled so I used one of their brackets and went you know to that and to that it would be better if I drilled the hole here but I don't have my drill with me so maybe next time I'll bring my drill and uh, and use it otherwise I mean it went together pretty straightforward I don't really understand the purpose of these because if I was to try and loosen these or let me say if I was to try and tighten these um, I, I need a wrench on this side anyway because it just spins so they should capture the head of this bolt so that way you can use and just hand tighten these that would be nice uh, so that's you know a bit of feedback other than that that works uh, the other thing that I've got is my winch just because that's the way Kawasaki did it you can see my winch is offset that way a little bit uh, which is not a big deal except for it makes the cable want to ride that way and just with a couple of pulls you can see it's already ended up on that washer so I'll have to be careful of that when I'm using you know pulling heavy loads because it's liable to chew up that washer uh, I put brake fluid in it and it has decent enough brakes it's a little spongy but it's not leaking actively so it just must be a really slow super slow leak so I'm gonna leave that alone for now uh, and get a part ordered for it I may just do a rebuild on it at the end of the season we'll have to see if uh, if it continues to give me fits um, went ahead and moved this bumper feeder to the back this is the one that I made this started out as one of those little wild game uh, camouflage bucket little you know five gallon whatever bucket that is eight gallon bucket and they just hang it from a tree uh, I welded this little uh, rebar contraption to make it just kind of fit over the tailgate so it was meant for the mule and it was or the for the it was meant for the front bumper and these were spread perfectly where it wouldn't move side to side so now I have to worry about it kind of sliding I may put some rubber hose or something on there uh, to keep it from sliding but for now I just kind of ran the wire up over the top down the windshield and then the triggers in the glove box I'd love to have that hardwired but it's not exactly a high-end unit or anything so hard wiring and you know maybe I could just have a, a plug come out underneath here or something and plug it in when I needed it I don't know otherwise everything works uh, the only other thing that uh, went bad was the um, the hood uh, latch right here on this side is broken and when I bought this mule it had the maroon uh, maroon hood on it and both sides were broken and I thought it was because it looked like they had run into something on this side and I thought that's why it had busted but I guess it just busted because Kawasaki hoods are kind of junky because that's a three-year-old hood however I don't know four years old however old I mean I bought it new whenever I made that other video um, uh, of the rebuild but uh, so it's not very old uh, you know I bought the seat covers at the same time did the did all this at the same time but uh yeah so that broke so i've seen people that will they build an angle bracket and they just run bolts through the top here i may end up having to do that just get like some zinc zinc coated bolts or something so they won't rust saw some action this morning decided not to take a shot because like i said that that one eight point was uh was it was right at 13 maybe just a little bit out he had a nice tall basket but uh was I, you know I just didn't want to gamble on the width um, so ended up not taking him he's a good thick bodied buck too so if he'd have just been a little bit wider he'd have definitely been ours um, uh, but that was a good sign considering we haven't uh, we haven't been feeding um, I, I've gotten out here real late um, just to give you an idea Thanksgiving to three days yeah three days um, Anyways, uh, so now that I've got my feeder, my bumper feeder working, tonight I can corn the roads better. Uh, and then I've got to run into town and I've got to see if I can find a, a timer controller for one of my feeders because the, the timer controller went bad. So hopefully a tractor supplier or somebody has it. So I'm going to drive into town and check that out. Maybe buy another bag of corn. And tonight we'll hunt again one more time in the morning. Hopefully we'll get a hog or we'll get a... Uh, a deer uh, and we'll get to use the power loader
he just shot a eight point buck so we're gonna go try and track that down it darted right into the bush there so hopefully it didn't get very far we're gonna go see if we can see some blood all right well <clears throat> we've searched for a little while didn't find uh any sign any blood any tracks any hair nothing so i guess we missed it you can see in the video where i mean it it looks like a hit you know I'll, I'll put an arrow right there on what i was talking about but i guess it must have just came really close um because i've got no signs i've gone all into that brush the direction he ran i could see the tracks you know the the uh tracks on the ground going off a certain direction so but i i don't i don't see any signs so we're gonna give up uh, on that that is uh it for this weekend we're gonna head back next uh next video i'll be starting a convertible top on the 66 so be sure to subscribe thanks for watching we'll see you next time